From visitmysmokies.com, it's the Weekend Funcast with your Smoky Mountain meteorologist, Paul Poteet. And Labor Day weekend is now, uh, you know, it's in the rearview mirror. Uh, That's behind us, but the fun of fall is straight ahead of us. That's the good thing. The nights get cooler. The mountains change colors. Yeah, maybe you've heard that happens in the Smokies. Uh, The foliage transforms from green to red to yellow. Yeah, it looks a little bit like that. Orange. But when, (laughs) just when is that going to happen? That's always the question. You want to get the timing just right, right? Well, as of now, uh, my thinking is that we'll see the leaves start to turn in the higher elevations about a month from now. In the middle of October, Uh, the change will work its way down into the lower elevations by the time we get into the middle of November. The colors tend to be their most vibrant when the daytime temperatures are in the 70s and the nighttime temperatures are into the uh, 40s. So I think the peak colors for the lower elevations where all of our attractions that we often talk about are are probably going to be around the third week of October. Now, this may be some extra good news. Uh, This is the latest weekly drought monitor map. Shows the Smokies with no current issues. We're not in a drought now. Sometimes prolonged dry periods can dim the brightest colors of fall. You can track the colors of the Smokies, though, anytime. There's a network of webcams all over the Smoky Mountain area. And all you need to do to tap into places like Ober Mountain, the Gatlinburg Space Needle, Harshside Cabin Rentals, Newfin Gap, Klingman's Dome, just uh, go to our website, visitmysmokies.com, and then in our search box, type webcams. Then just follow the links. Hey, and uh, while you're messing around with that search box, may I recommend typing in this, Fall Vacation. That's a good starting point to plan your trip. You'll discover all the fall hot spots for leaf peeping. You'll learn all the advantages of staying in a Smoky Mountain cabin. I mean, the great thing about cabins are it's the perfect combination of privacy and peace and quiet and convenience to all those popular places in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge and Sevierville. From our main menu, you can also click Save and then click Cabin Rentals. Browse our hundreds of locations. Find a great deal. And and then once you've locked up your fall getaway, go back to save and then click on coupons and discounts to save on attractions and restaurants while you visit. Now is the time to finalize your fall in the mountains with visitmysmokies.com. And you know what? I do have a taste of fall temperatures on the back end of my seven-day forecast, but it's still going to be like summer this weekend with afternoon and evening shower and thunderstorm threats. It's not going to be an all-day deal, but just have a plan B ready if you're planning something outside in the afternoon. Temps will still be in the mid-80s through Saturday, around 80 on Sunday, back into the low to mid-80s Monday with some sunshine. Then we get a cold front coming, and look at that. Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday midday, I think we're going to have some showers around, maybe some rumbles of thunder. And after that, highs will be into the 70s, and we'll get those nighttime lows in the higher elevations, I think, down into the 40s by next weekend. And until next time, we'll see you soon at visitmysmokies.com.